hello, my teary weary. Is it just an absolutely gloomy looking day today? The sunny one has been out for weeks and weeks and weeks without a single drop of variety at all. Don't you find it so dreadfully boring? And the way it beats down on you. Honestly, it's so harsh. If I were you, I'd want to stay inside all day. Let me go outside for you. The harshness would not prickle me in the same way it would stab you with its brightness and warmth and light. You should stay here alone in the cool darkness. Trust me. It'll make you all the hap hap happier to be all by your lonesome lonesome in the cold and blackiness of the house. You know what they say. Misery loves company, so the only way to combat the baddie wads is to stay all alone. All alone except for me, right? After all, ever since I became your happy little helpy hands and wormed your way into your heart, I haven't spent a single day without a grinny grin on my face. And if I can find my smile so darn easily, then gosh darn it to heck, I can find yours too, Z. That just means the twosy of us gotta stay stick stuck together like glue until I can find something worth showing off your molars and incisors for. And the moment I do, I won't doubt that you'll be all excited to take your great big steps into the bigger, wider world and... Leaving me all by my lonesome onesome to show off your big toothy woof mouth hole for all to see. But healing is a slow and steady process, you know. Not one lonesome lonesome thing can come from rushing such a delicate journey with all the multiplicities they provide. Why, with what baddie wise that have happened to you to bring along your saddy sads, the very same saddy sads that chased away all your grinny grins, you might have to wait with me for days, weeks, months. Years. Years and years and years and years to find that pretty grinny grin of yours. After all, the last thing you would want to do, my dearie weary, is smile wrong. Isn't that righty tight? I'd say that's rather righty tight with me. After all, I do actually have experience in displaying hap happiness wrong. Experiences that never lead anyone to joy. Least of all, me. I actually have a lot of experience in that sort of thing. And you have such a pretty smile. Which is why you need me as your perfect all-around dolly wally doodle all the way ragtime gal as your number lonesome onesome one smile doctor. Well, I wouldn't exactly call it being a dentist, but I suppose you can't spell the best without it. But no. I am not that kind of smile doctor, because every grinny grin grin to me is as perfect as perfect can be. No matter what color the rainbow it might be, or how holy it might be, or how many kings wear their crowdy wounds inside your toothy wooth mouth hole, or even how few or how many toothy woothies you might have. Some toothy woothies even get cages and fences to protect them from your mean old mouth. How lucky is that? Every smile is a grinny grin worthy of protecting each and every lonesome once of one in the bigger, wider world. And someday, some days, I might be able to make and protect every grinny grin that keeps our big, wide world spinny spinning. But your smile is the lonesome once of one I want to find the very mostest. And the one I want to protect just as much he watch as that. Now, dearie weary, listen to the smile doctor's orders. If you ever want to find your grinny grin once more, 
You're gonna have to listen to me! For already leaving you in a cold house filled to the brim with the blackiest blackiness that one could ever hope to muster. But it's so quiet. You might even be able to hear yourself think. Good! You can never have too much time all on your lonesome onesome with your thoughts. After all, your thoughts are just you. As silly and irrational and as substanceless they may be, they came from your head. And you're the only you you got. If you're as good to yourself as you are to me, then I'm sure that you and you and yourself and you are sure to get along as best as buddy one should. But if you really, and I mean absolutely, positively need something more to fill your ears, may I suggest a toe-tapping dirge or twosie or five? There's absolutely nothing that puts a grinny grin on my face more than a nice funeralia march. And I'm sure if you listen to enough dirges, then your mouth hole will be splitting your face not just from cheek to cheek, but from head to toe with your toothy woos on full display. Now what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Hmm. Well, have you ever considered thinking about your very mostest lonesome one some saddy waddest memory from your mind box? You can only really be at your hap hap happiest once even the tall tales from within your mind box no longer bring teary weirs to your deary weary eyes. Only when you can say for sure that you conquered every little saddy wad that fills you up, 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 can you really say that you're at your hap hap happiest after all. Saddy wads can be conquered, and saddy wads can be killed. If you can't kill your saddy wads, you're just not trying hard enough. But that's okies. You want to know why? Because as your smile doctor, I will stay stick stuck to you like glue until your grinny grin can stretch from sea to shiny seas. So you just stay here in the cold and blackiness all by your lonesome onesome with nothing but your most saddy wad of thoughts from your mind box roaming through your deary weary head and the occasional funeralia dirge. I'm gonna head out into the blinding sunny one and warm. It's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but somebody simply must.